All right, we're back. So with this episode, we're just gonna do some achievements. We're just gonna look for achievements, maybe get some experience lamps, maybe put them into things, just uh, unlock as many achievements as we can for now. So if we went to the bank, we just uh, deposit everything. You just deposit everything from your bag, deposit everything that you were wearing, and then you can't lose anything. So we're gonna be starting with the wilderness. So if you like uh, open up your worn equipment, go down here, view items that you're carrying, which will be kept. So it shows that uh, we won't lose anything. These items are automatically saved. So it's the same for the prismatic lamps, all the stars and everything. If you go to the wilderness, you don't actually lose these things. Always free to protect. So these items are automatically saved. So if somebody kills you in the wilderness, you don't lose them. So let's just uh, do some achievements here. We know we have to view the scoreboard. If you go to Heroes tab, go to Exploration. Go to Wilderness. Enter the Wilderness. Offer some bones to the Chaos Altar. Enter the Chaos Tunnels from the entrance to the Wilderness. View the recent kills. View the bank. Uh, deposit 50 cursed memories. Reach a score of 10 using the strange switches. Teleport to the Lodestone. Ask him to skull on you. Loot a chest in the Magic Axe place. So. There we go, some things. Those are the easy achievements. There is other ones to do, right? Activate and teleport to each of the teleport obelisks. Maybe we'll do that one, because that one's, that one's pretty easy. It's not out of the way. So we believe the scoreboard was over here. If we go over here, we had trouble finding it before. Read the death list, is that it? Uh, read the death list. Uh, recent wilderness kills. Ah, uh, view the recent kills on the wilderness. Alright, we believe that's what that was. So if we enter the wilderness by any means. Uh, did we select, uh, oh, enter the wilderness. You want to enter the wilderness. So if you die or anything, or if anything attacks you, you won't, uh, lose anything. Essentially, you can just run back here and then get back to the start again. So the first one, first one that we usually do when we come through here, is we do the chaos here. So if you enter any of the rifts on the ground, this should be one of them. Proceed regardless. It just says to enter any of these rifts by any means. So then you should be able to climb up out the exit. And then we just go over here. Uh, over here would be where the chaos temple is. So it's multi-way combat over here. Make sure you don't get killed or something. So there's the obelisk right over there. We could do the obelisks. Let's just do this one first. Let's do the chaos altar, then go maybe do the switches, go get the waypoint. So over here would be the chaos altar. We believe, we believe there was bones here last time. And you could view the bank over here. And there is an obelisk over here too. So we could just use this obelisk or that one or whichever one we are. Essentially you're just supposed to teleport from all of them that's the goal so there is a bonus right here we've seen last time we came here there was like two people training prayer here so it's not too dangerous you just take bones here offer them to the chaos altar and it counts as a as a gilded altar essentially the experience is the same we'd have to double check pretty sure it's the same experience as offering it to a gilded altar and there is a bank right here so you can go to the bank we draw bones, offer at this place, and you don't even need a gilded altar anymore. So they give 16 experience compared to 5, offer some bones at the chaos altar in 12. You can talk to him if you want, ask him what he's doing here, hanging around this place. <clears throat> and here's the cape seller for the bank. This said you had to access the bank, talk to him, access the bank. So here is your bank. You can access this bank anywhere, view your bank from any cape seller. You could uh, trade with him and he has capes for sale. Maybe you could buy them and sell them on the Grand Exchange. So if we go over here, we'll just go do these switches. So that we have to go down over here again. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe there was a bridge up there or something. Oh, well, we'll just go this way. Essentially, if you come back down over here, because where is the thing? Because it is on the other side of the lava over here. We'll just record the whole thing or we'll record the whole trip because people might get lost. They'd be like, uh, I got clipped. Where were you? We don't know where you went. So if we go to this building here, 
because the wilderness, like the entire RuneScape world is so small, right? It is so small in the wilderness. We could have brought a teleport to teleport out if we need to teleport out. That would have been smart. So you go here, you pull this switch. So we did this on another character. So it says, you begin what you are sure to be an epic journey. One. And then you run up here to this building. <laughs> Why is this in the game? Pull switch B. Then you pull this switch. So you're running your personal best. Keep going. In your personal best, you've activated the switch two times. And then you have to run back to this switch. And that's the game. You have to get two points. Two points in this game. You have to come back here and pull this lever. This lever again. Pull lever switch A. It says, ah, oh, congratulations in your personal best. You've activated the switch three times. Then you run back here again and hit this four times until you get ten points. Alright, so we hit the switch ten times. So you probably well run out of run energy, but it says... Reach a score of 10 using these strange switches in the wilderness. And if you want to go for a new personal best, you probably could. You could sit there and do that. So now, let's uh, just go back to the bank. Let's just go to the bank with draw a teleport, because uh, we probably should at least bring a teleport here. Alright, so we could access this bank, right? Right click bank, and then we'll draw the equip the archaeology journal. Let me go open here, we can check to see, it's probably always kept on death, right? What? You will protect the enemies shown below, all other enemies will be lost on death. In the wilderness, you will protect what? The enemies below are always kept on death. What if I wasn't in the wilderness? In the wilderness, you will protect what? All of your items are lost? Even if you're not scald? What does that mean? In the wilderness, you'll protect the items shown below all of them. Oh, these items are always kept under So it just looks different here. What if I wasn't in the wilderness? Then it changes to this one, which looks nicer. These items are automatically saved, so your journal, always free to protect, unless in the wilderness. This one says always free to protect, so unless you're in the wilderness? What does that mean? So we should keep it anyways. Essentially, if you go here, like, that would be a good place for training prayer, right? I don't think these guys attack you. Abyssal Demon? But there is Abyssal Demons here. If we just uh, activate the obelisk, go to the center here. Uh, and then we could just uh, drag this to the hot bar, right? Drag this to the hot bar, just in case you need it. So now you're at level 27 wilderness, so you activate the obelisk again. So we don't know if there's a way to force it to go to certain places. Essentially, the point of this one, like this is a, not the easy achievement, this is a harder one. I wonder if you activate this while it will push us in that direction or something. It will push us over there. How do we lower this? 27. No. Mm -mm. So this is the place we were just at. Maybe it just uh, sends you to a random place, is that true? Obulus just sends you to a random place in the wilderness. Yeah. What if we right click? Oh, choose destination. You need to complete the hard wilderness task to choose your destination. Oh, so maybe it's a random and then once you do that. So we are in a new place, this is level 13. Oh, this is the place I was just down from that one. So you keep teleporting here until you get the achievement back here again so it does bring you to like level 44 wilderness and level 50 wilderness level 50 multi-way combat although we haven't seen anybody we haven't uh, ever seen anybody when we've been up. well we have been we've seen someone training at the divination place they didn't attack us we're back here again so we must have another place to go to there we go so activate and teleport from each of the wilderness teleports so imagine if you wanted to you could just uh, go to the wilderness and look on the map, right? Where are they on the map? Oh, right there, those uh, squares. Look for those squares in the wilderness. If you go to all of them and then teleport from them, if you can't find them or something, then you'd be able to go. So let's try to teleport back to a safe spot. Essentially what else is left to do. <clears throat> let's see, deposit 50 cursed energies, teleport to your lodestone, ask him to skull on you. So that's it. We just have to go to the place level 35 
right here. Here's where the waypoint would be. The cursed memories would be in here. Right, so essentially if we're on the map here, lodestone would be here. Here's the volcano, here's the lodestone. So if you're in Edfell, you just uh, run up to the north, here's the lodestone. Although we're coming from here because we're coming from the obelisk to the north. Here's the volcano where you deposit the things, so let's uh, run to the lodestone first. Oh, we could run through here, right? Level 31, 679. Level, like, anyone up to level 100 could attack us. If we die, we just have to go find the waypoint again. See if there's anyone here. Essentially, this is the Cursed Memory spot. <clears throat> it's probably a really, really good divination experience per hour. Apparently, the divination it uh, scales with you or something. We just have to make sure these guys don't kill us, but we're wearing absolutely nothing anyways. So if you're like uh, running from the south, it would be right about up here. And you just activate the lodestone, and then one of the achievements would be teleporting to the lodestone. Here's the lodestone. Yeah, there's that obelisk there at level 13. There's the chaos temple right there. So literally the lodestone was right beside this one here, level 13. When we uh, teleported here, we could could have just gotten the lodestone, I guess, then. It's literally right there, level 13 wilderness. There's the chaos, chaos temple, <clears throat> chaos altar. There's the lava, you can see it. There's that obelisk. So literally, we were standing at that obelisk. We could have just went west a little bit, and there's the lodestone. So the other achievement was coming in here and depositing these memories. So the things about these memories is if you're holding these or the items that they produce, anybody could attack you, anybody with any level. Uh, carrying this resource gathered from well prevents you from teleporting, and anyone will be able to attack you. So essentially, you can't teleport out of this place, and anybody can attack you. Uh, so as long as we don't lose anything, right? So if we wanted to teleport, we'd have to drop the cursed energies. If you find these memory strands, right click add to currency pouch. You have restored 50 of 10,000. Any more gathered will now be automatically added to your currency pouch. So now you probably don't have to worry about them being in your inventory. Oh, he's here gathering stuff too. So we just have the achievement to do. Essentially we just uh, gather from these here and then deposit them here. Oh, so we could do this achievement too. We haven't ever uh, configured these things before. So generally at the rift you right click and you go configure, right? Where is it? Right click, uh, configure. Then you want to select the first option. Uh, then you'd want to convert memories. You want to right click here, then configure, and select the second option, and then convert memories. There's another achievement. And then you go to configure, go to the third option, and then convert. There you go. So now you're just like converting everything. So how much are they? Crystal energies would be really expensive, right? prevent you from teleporting so you can just use them to get more experience get some divination experience here if you want to once you do those you can just drop those and then you could uh, teleport again and nobody can attack you but when you start harvesting here you'll have these and people can attack you so are they worth anything so people say curse of energy is worth a lot on the grand exchange but they have a uh, no trade value manipulated to cre create various energies Huh. I have no idea. That other person's gone. Is he gone? He's gone. Maybe we'll just hold some. If we make it out alive, then we can go bank with them. Ah, but the achievement just said that you have to convert 50 memories. So we just need two and a half inventories. Deposit 50 cursed memories at the cursed divination energy spot, this place. And then we can teleport out. Teleport back to the lodestone, teleport to the wilderness, ask him to scroll on you, and then we're complete. Gather an enriched memory of any type. Oh, cool. Yeah, we'll just try to deposit these and then just get another half inventory. Maybe we'll record the other, the rest of it, I mean. 
we're basically done, we'll just uh, make that this, because what else is there? We know that we tried to do that other one, right? Uh, loot a chest? No. Persuade him in the abandoned camp to do something for you. We tried to go to the abandoned camp and then we got attacked by the enemies there. Alright, so this should have uh, deposited 50 when we throw these in here. Oh, maybe not. I thought that would have been 50. It says uh, deposit 50 and then convert 50 of them. Because we could hold 20 things and we picked a couple extras. Maybe, maybe it was just pretty close to 50. Well, let's try to convert it when we get another 5. 5 should definitely be enough. That maybe the first inventory wasn't completely full. There we go. Achievement uh, deposit 50 energies at the energy rift, and then you could a uh, home teleport. Oh, we didn't want to remove it. Want to go here? If you put on the hot bar, it's a left click teleport, right? Yeah, there it is. So once you get to level 20 wilderness, you could left click teleport, and then you could get out of here. So we got the waypoint. We could teleport back again. The other one was to home teleport to the wilderness lodestone, which we have over there now. Lodestone is in level 15 wilderness, so you should want to teleport. Yes. And then all we have to do is teleport to Edgeville. So we go here to get the achievement and then click the thing on the hotbar if you want to. So you teleport to the lodestone, click on your book, and then you teleport away. Just so if you're worried about anyone attacking you. So the archaeology book is pretty cool. So then we just needed to home teleport to Edgeville, do this last one, and then go claim the rewards. Does Mr. X give the rewards? We're not sure, we haven't actually uh, claimed the rewards before. So then you would just go talk to Mr. X over here and talk to Mr. X. So we're not going to be in the wilderness for a while. We did everything. Uh, ask him to skull on you. Really? Uh, yes. Make him skull on you. Are you sure? You realize anybody can attack you. Yes, we understand. Yes, do it already. So there you go. Ask him to skull on you. Congratulations, you have completed the wilderness set task easy given by Mr. X North of Edgeville for completing all of the tasks. Talk to Mr. X. Uh, task system. Tell me about the, oh, can I claim my rewards from you? He says, I've completed all the tasks in the Easy Wilderness task set. Well done, I've kept some rewards aside for you. You've given some rewards for completing the Easy Wilderness task set. There you go, it looks like that was everything. So, now we have the Wilderness Sword, level 40. So we got a level 40 weapon. Oh, cool. And I think it uh, gives you some benefits when in the Wilderness too. I think the level 2 sword's really good. Locate the Welder Room, Hair Patch, Edgefell. Is this a teleport? A free teleport? We're gonna have to look into it. We'll figure out what it is. Examine the Wilderness Sword. A carefully forged longsword with the markings of the Wilderness Tier 1. So you get uh, two antique lamps. Do they give 10,000 experience? Summoning 10,000 experience. So you could put 10,000 experience in, uh, was it anything over level 30? You must choose a skill in which you already have level 30. So it's just like the other lamp from the Varrock achievements. The Varrock achievements, they give 1,000 experience. These ones give 10,000 experience. Alright. So we could literally put 20,000 experience in summoning. Get all that done with. Summoning is level 37. Summoning is level 40. Your wish has been granted. 10,000 summoning, summoning experience. You gain 3 summoning levels. Rub the antique lamp. Summoning 10,000 experience in summoning. Congratulations, you have advanced two summoning levels. We just level 42, so we just need uh, 10 more summoning levels. 10 more summoning levels. So there's the wilderness easy achievements done. It'll get you a whole bunch of summoning levels.